Hello, hello. How is everyone? Hello, Emmy. Hello. Oh my God, I love your shirt. Oh, thank you. It's my holiday shirt. Cute. So cute. I, somebody's at the door talking to Dwight and I don't know who it is. Yeah. Oh, so like, funny. No. <laughs> so funny. All right. Uh, I can't wait. wait. Just a little bit. Hi, Nicole. Hello. How are you? Your hair looks Just good. got off work. So good. So I good. love it. I just woke up. I love it. <laughs> I took well, a nap. I took a nap. Good for you. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I've got a little Christmas music playing in the background. I've got my afternoon drink and my sparkly holiday shirt. And you already have makeup on, Erica? I just did um, my base. I'm behind. Nope, you're okay. You're okay. All right, so Zoom has changed a little bit since we started doing these beauty on a budget. So I'll have to kind of keep letting people in. Um, yeah, you have and, to admit them. Yeah, you have to admit them. So um, if you are a beauty guide watching this, if you'll help me kind of, if there's stuff in the chat room, you guys help me keep an eye on it. Um, but we are going to get started here in just a little bit. I'm going to pull up my inspiration look. What color, what palettes did you guys pick to do your smoky eye with? So I only have this. Okay. Will you put it real close to the camera? It's the blue eye palette. Beautiful. Okay. But I think I have enough tones in there that they'll just, it'll be a brown smoky. For sure. Right. I mean, I'll show you mine. Mine. And I have this random gray. Okay. So this is the one I'm going to be working out of. Okay. And again, if you guys are jumping on as a guest, okay, Emmy's got some neutrals. If you're jumping on as a guest, we would love for you to play along um, with whatever shades of eyeshadow that you want. Um, all right. I'm trying to pull up my inspiration picks. I'm going to change my palette. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna go just full blown at smoky. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's a good one. And then um, I'm gonna use our amazing reds. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So for those of you who are gonna catch this later, I know. Yes, she just got them in, Nicole. And show show the show yeah. So this just came in the lollipop littles. Um, this is the pink one, which I gifted myself. So it's, yes, it's that one. Um, and then, so I now have the eyeliner pen or pencil too, that I haven't tried before. Yes. Yeah. Love it. I love it. I love it. If you've been invited to this, this will be recorded and we'll upload it to our YouTube channel. Uh, but we are here as beauty guides and our girlfriends to just do a little playing in this makeup. This is on YouTube. <laughs> It's going on YouTube. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Feel free to turn your cameras on, especially if you want to play along. But I'm going to use the two reds that come in this little lollipop mini, um, lollipop little. And um, this is a great little gift collection that you may be inspired to snag from your beauty guide, whether that's me or one of the other amazing beauty guides on here. Um, but just real quick to introduce myself, and then we're going to just get started. Um, my name is Erica Journal, and I am a professional makeup artist in the mid-Missouri area, right smack dab in the middle of the big old state of Missouri. Columbia is my town, and I have been um, doing makeup professionally for 13 years, and I came across Lime Life by Alcone and thought, why not? As a pro makeup artist, why not use what the other professional makeup artists are using? Um, and that is from this, all of this ama amazing magical makeup from the Alcone store in New York City. So um, if you guys have questions as you jump on, please let me know. Um, but I just 
this is going to be interactive and hopefully we'll get to see some finished looks from those of you that have your screens on. I just real quick want to check the waiting room and make sure that I don't have anyone else. Okay. So hopefully that'll pop up. So again, we're going to get started. I don't have any eyeshadow on, um, but I will tell you um, the best part of makeup is making sure that once you get it on, it stays on all day. Um, let's see, Nicole, do you yeah. mind sending the link again to our chat group? Yep. Can you do that for me? Yep. Perfect. Um, we've got a few people saying they can't get on. So again, if you're not familiar with Lime Life by Alcone, it is a professional makeup company um, that's been around for over 60 years and it's partnered with this amazing, effective, plant-based, chemical-free skincare. Uh, so it is incredible. And as a makeup artist, again, it just made sense for me to partner with a brand that has that much um, history working with the pros. Um, so again, I started with our botanical wax foundation. Emmy, now that we had some lessons, are you, are you like, okay, I got it now. Yeah. Yep. 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 You and Nicole got me on track. I love it. I love it. So we are a very collaborative community of sisters who just really like to feel girly and play in makeup that's safe, but it also lasts all day long. So um, I started, I don't have my foundation in here, but this is um, how most of my girlfriends um, start um, with our foundation. It has your color foundation here and then two concealers, one to color correct and then one to brighten. So if you love all things highlighting and contouring, your beauty guide can help you um, figure out which colors are best. Okay, so we've got some more girls popping on. So I'm gonna show you guys again real quick, the palette that I'm gonna work with. Um, a lot of times when people think about smoky eyes, they immediately think that we need to use tones of grays and charcoal and black. And really a smoky eye is just the technique. So you could do a purple smoky eye or a red or orange smoky eye. I'm gonna work in this palette. I've got a mixture of metallics or shimmers. These are the softest. Like they're just the most luxurious creamy shadows that I've ever used. Some of these colors are coming back in stock um, next week. So I'll make sure and tell you. Um, hey, Chandra, how are you? I'll make sure and list the, the colors that I'm using. I have kind of a hazily green eye. So I'm using a mix of metallics and brown. I've got some mid-tones. And then I always like to pull in some warmth. So this is a shade called Blush Hour. Um, again, we're going to end with a really sexy red lip. This is the perfect blue base red that it just really looks good on everybody. And then I always have to have an amazing powder trio. I'm obsessed with these right now. I've got our number one bronzer, which is a shimmer bronzer, our number one glowing, and then our translucent powder. And then we got to have some tools, right, ladies? We got to have some tools. So my favorite um, eyeshadow brushes, um, this one is number seven. So it's a big kind of fluffy brush. And then this is number nine, which is an angled brush. So if you have something similar to this, go ahead and pull those brushes out. And then this is the number 10. And it's just a pointy blender brush that helps kind of get everything blended and looking um, flawless. So just in case we need it, I do have our number 14 brow tamer. This is a great way to do your brows if you like to use a pro, uh, like a powder product. Um, but the angled brush on this is really great for getting underneath the eyes. Um, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. Are you guys ready? Yes. Ready. Okay. So again, prep for your, um, for the eyelid is, really important, right? Because we want the product to stay. We want the color to pop. And um, my favorite way to prep my eyelids um, is by using one of our concealers. Um, number three is what I use today. This is a waterproof 
highly concentrated um, wax um, concealer. And I just smoothed that all over my eyelid. So if you guys haven't done that yet, if you wanna go ahead and just smooth it all over your eye, you can use your finger. If you're using a product that's not Lime Life by Alcone, um, yeah, however you typically apply that, um, a foundation brush, number four foundation brush is a lot of times what I'll use. And you can just really quickly um, even out the color of your eyelid. So, and then again, we're gonna go and get started. So because I already have foundation on, so listen, this is gonna be a great tutorial. If you've been, let's say at work all day. Oh, Nicole, thank you so much. Stormy got in. Thank you for posting that. Yeah. Hey, Erica, quick question. Yeah. So I just tossed on my foundation. Um, would you before, would you set your face with your setting spray before or after you, like before your eye or after your eye? So when I um, am transitioning from day into like a night look or I'm just starting, um, mm -hmm. regardless of if you use your setting powder or not, um, that's actually what I was getting ready to say, Emmy, is to go ahead and dust, okay. dust the under eye area with okay. translucent powder. And the reason I say that, ladies, is because if you get fallout, which is the excess product on your brush. And this is why I think most women do not like to do smoothie eyes is because we're working in darker colors and they get this fallout. And I look at black eyes every yeah, time. It makes a mess. It makes a mess. So if you just dust a little bit of translucent powder, I love, I call this magic white powder. Um, it's so finely milled, but in the event that you do get fallout, you can actually just take a brush and you can brush it away. So when I am doing, Emmy, when I'm doing a real bold smoky eye, I usually, especially if I've already, you know, a lot of times I've already had my makeup on for the day and I'm coming home to get ready for an event, you know, wherever I would wear the sparkly shirt to. Um, but I will leave any, like if I really want to, um, you know, kind of clean up underneath of my eyes, we'll do that all at the end. Okay. So. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, we've got some, okay, yay! We've got more people hopping on. Hello, hello. Again, you guys, this is really just girlfriend time. So I would love to see your beautiful faces. And that way, if you have questions on placement or how far over do I bring this color that we can see each other and we can all help, you know, help our girlfriends out. So no pressure to turn your camera on but it is a lot more fun when we can see each other's faces. Okay, so again, this is the palette that I'm gonna use. I always recommend um, starting with a mid-tone. So this happens to be number 32, just a mid-tone brown. It's got a little bit of a taupe undertone. So I'm gonna come in with that number seven brush. Again, when you're using professional products and these are so highly pigmented, there's no digging in the product. So you literally swipe through and you can see how much product is picked up. And this is another key, tap off, tap off all of that excess um, shadow. So then I'm gonna get real close so you guys can see me. And if you feel like you're gonna have a lot of background noise and you, you wanna follow along, you can always mute yourself and then unmute yourself if you have any questions. Um, so I'm gonna come and I've, I've put that just on one side of my brush versus the end. And I'm just gonna place that kind of where you can feel the bone. You guys let me know if you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but this is gonna really help kind of set the stage for how high you want to bring um, the smoke. So I'm just windshield wipering back and forth. And when we do a smoky eye, a lot of times, um, if you guys know me, I like to keep all of the light product in towards my nose and then all of the depth out towards the outer corner of my eye. But with a smoky eye, feel free to go ahead and follow that bone all the way over towards the inner corner of your eye. And I do like to keep my eye open. I feel like it, it gives me more workspace 
versus closing, I end up not getting my product high enough and then you don't get enough drama. So again, this is just a mid-tone and I'm gonna bring it all the way out. And then I'm just gonna go to the other eye. I, I kind of pat or lay down the brush in the middle of my eye and then I'm gonna bring it over because this will actually end up being the lightest color for the colors that I'm using um, outside of my highlighter, if that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna end up with darker shades on that outer corner. So again, I like to just windshield wiper my brush back and forth. How are we doing? Good, good, good. Ladies that I can't see, if you have questions, you can unmute yourself and you can ask, or you can always drop them in the chat and Nicole and Emmy will help me. Hi, Stormy, how are you beautiful? Um, they'll help me kind of keep an eye. Okay, so now we've kind of got that created, right? So we're gonna leave this area. Again, I recommend using the concealer so it's all one color. The other thing that I will tell you, if you guys have a lot of arch in your eyebrow, if you're looking in the eyebrow, see where mine arch is, I like to keep my mid-tone like almost to where it follows the shape of my eyebrow. If you're more straight across, no worries. Um, then you can just kind of follow that natural shape. Okay, so then I like to always start with my mattes and then add my shimmers. So because I'm gonna move into some of these darker colors, I'm gonna switch to this number nine angled brush. It's just gonna give me a little bit more precision and placement. And I'm gonna come into this number 42. It's a really dark matte brown. And again, when you're using these Lime Life products, it doesn't take much, make sure, regardless what product you're using, make sure that you tap the excess off. And so then right towards the outer corner, I'm gonna go ahead and press that up and you can see, look at all that pigment. Is that your darkest color, yeah. Erica? Yes, yeah, so that is my darkest. Now I do have Shimmy Shimmy, which is a really pretty metallic shimmer that's also in here, Nicole. So this is what, this is the second color. We'll end up bringing some of this in just because I love the metallic tones to it. But again, I always like to lay down my, um, my mats first. So as you can see- You're it on the outside. I'm just pressing. And I do a lot of pressing. I don't do a lot of flipping of my brush. And then right underneath of that mid-tone, I'm gonna start to bring this in towards the inner corner. Does that make sense? To where, so you're just a little bit under where we had that first color. Okay, I'm gonna swipe and just see. Okay, I don't see any others' faces, so. Well, I look like I have a huge black eye, so. Well, it's a process. Honestly, as a pro artist, I never let my clients sit in front of a mirror because it's a process, right? But if you guys, like I said, if you need help or anything, then you just bring your little pretty faces closer in and we can. Uh, how, we can okay. Do yep. we need to do anything here or you just keep going over? So I like to, I mean, I will let myself get a little messy when I get to the outer corner, Nicole, instead of bringing a lot of color down, I kind of am pushing up, Push up. into that bone. And then I'll show you a cleanup trick at the end. I don't think I have a lot of bone. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's got an eye socket. Sometimes we just yes. have to find it. Yeah. Okay. So pressing, pressing. So then I'm going to go to the other side. And again, under that pocket. All right, Emmy, bring your face close. How are we doing, sister? Oh, not so hot. Well, yes, yes, you are. I got a little crazy. Well, and listen, that's okay because again, we can blend. We can blend the the colors out, um, and 
and we can show you kind of a cleanup trick. See, you're getting it. That, that looks horrible. <laughs> well, and the thing is, is that, well, I also don't have the right brushes. So you know where to get some good brushes. I know. I just that haven't. The thing, like really having nice, compact, just really well-made brushes. It does. It makes it easier for your application and which makes it more fun. You know what I mean? When you're not like struggling with the wrong Brush. brushes. Yeah. That you're going to look horrible. Yeah. So again, um, I'm just keeping that dark color in that crease, but underneath where I put the mid-tone, which was that first color. And then I'm going to take that same brush. Stormy, how are you doing, girl? I think I look like a raccoon. <laughs> Trust me, it's a process. Okay. I mean, so what colors are you using, Stormy? Um, let me see. Where did I just set it? Oh, here we go. I have, I think it's Tope was my mid-tone. Hold on, I can tell you numbers. I don't know if this is brownie point or what this is. Good, a, a dark matte. Uh-huh, I don't know if I can show you these here. Okay, yeah. So I use this one and, oops. Yeah. I used this one and then this one. Yeah. So, and the biggest thing is too, is that first of all, we can blend, you know, we can always blend, we can always go back in with lighter, but I always think that I look like I've been punched in the eye too, until you get it all done. You can always add more too. So I'm gonna take that little um, brush and it had that dark color and I'm just gonna lightly sweep along my lash line. This isn't gonna be real precise, You guys hear me rummaging for brushes? Right. So I've never done eyeshadow under my eye. Okay. And I feel it's psychological. I feel like it. It's psychological. That's so funny. Well, and it definitely can be something that when you've never done a certain look before that you it takes a while, right? You're like, I don't know about this. Well, I think it looks great on others. I'm just like, I look like a raccoon. Yeah. Or, so adding, adding shadow under the lashes, and then we're going to come back in if you guys don't already do your waterline. And I think that just, I know Nicole's like, Eek! but it really does kind of pull the look all together. So you can see we're starting to get, you know, kind of some smokiness going here. For me, because I do like my eyes to kind of pop, I'm not going to worry about bringing it all the way down to the lash line. Um, so depending on what kind of palette you're working in, um, I would next come into, um, again, I'm going to use shimmy shimmy. It's this, it's just got all kinds of undertones in it. Um, is that your metallic? It's the metallic. And so I'm going to drop that right at that lower corner. And what so brush? I'm, so I'm still using that number nine. So it's just a, yeah, you could use that one, Emmy. Just kind of a short, compact angle brush. And I'm going to pat. And when I come out here, again, I'm going to, I'm not going to drag it down. I'm kind of just pushing up and out. And I will tell you, the smoky eye is the most, I think, coveted eye look just because it's the one that most women think that they can't do. If you've never done a successful smoky eye, one that you're like, yes, girl, I would encourage you to, to maybe not play in the darker ones. Again, it's, it's all the technique. So you could do a smoky eye with these shades, okay? Again, the smoky eye isn't about it being all black and charcoal. It's just about the technique, about bringing it all the way over and really just not having any sharp edges. Everything looks very blended. And you could definitely do this with lighter tones. 
Okay. All right, Eric, so then, I have a question for you real quick before you move on. on. I was playing major catch up. Um, so I had th to throw on some foundation real quick as you guys were in the middle of it. So I just started real quick. How did you get the entire, did you color your entire eyelid with the dark? Cause I came in where you guys were just doing the crease. So okay. can you backtrack just a tiny how you started? So I, I'm gonna, let me swipe you over here. So I started with number 32, a corkable. And I used a brush like this and I did um, kind of in that bone area, but I brought it up a little bit higher so that I've got like the start of like a fade, you know what I mean? And then I went into a matte brown and just tucked my brush right underneath. Okay. Does that make sense? You're so dark, Miss Chandra. I know. It's I have my I have my Ricky light right next to me, so oh, it's okay. my screen want to gotcha. not be bright. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Does anyone else have any other questions? So this is kind of what we're looking like right now. So then I'm gonna just come in. I'm gonna wipe off. Let's see. I think I really want to use. I like how compact this angled brush is. So I'm going to pull in some of this beautiful, it's called In Sequence. Like I love this shade. If you guys don't have this, um, it's, I think it should be back in stock next week. Um, so I'm going to come into that. I'm going to load it on my brush, tap it off. And because I want it to really pop, so you can see it on there, I'm going to take my time setter and I'm gonna spritz my brush. I'm gonna close my eye. And I'm gonna just dab that next to my lash line. And spraying it with your time setter, when you have a metallic like that, it like, look how much that pops. Can you see that? It's so pretty. And it just, I don't have that tone, but I'm using um, the blushing highlighter because that's the only light yes. palette I have. Yeah, it does really help blend it. And better. it just, yeah, girl, it just makes it really, really pop. So as you can see, like on this eye, that reflection, which once I get my mascara on, it just really helps. I don't know. I think it just helps the eye kind of pop more. You can always leave it all matte, which is fine too. So again, I'm gonna do the other side. And I don't take it all the way over. I just go halfway and then bring it back in towards the middle. Do you guys have any, like typically, I know we're in kind of a weird year. That's why we started doing these Zoom beauty on a budget, just because they're a really fun way to interact with people without being in their face, but do you typically have holiday parties that you get all glammed up for? Yeah, I normally have one or two things to go to. And so this year I don't have anything, but. Yeah. No, Dwight doesn't usually go to his um, work Christmas party. So no, we don't. Uh, Christmas Eve church, Christmas Eve church is usually what I get glammed up for. There you go. There but you not go. Not this year. I know. I know, but you know, sometimes you just have to put a glittery shirt on on the a rainy cold Saturday and just feel fabulous, you know? So, yeah. okay. So then I'm gonna come in, this is Sweet Dreams. It's another metallic. I'm gonna just barely pop it up underneath. You see how it just adds that little shimmer. You could also do it just right here in the corners. And then this is when I typically just start to blend because I want to see, okay, what's it all going to look like? So this is a pointed blender. This is number 10. And I'm going to just kind of work through that dark and blend it out. I will tell you when I'm doing a smoky eye to go out or if I've got a client that I'm getting ready for a holiday event, 
um, a lot of times I will bounce. Like I'll get to this point of the eye and I'll be like, okay, let's see what that looks like. Once we get mascara on, once we get eyeliner on, knowing that we can always go back and add more. So again, we were referencing in the beginning. Um, this is one of my all time favorite holiday sets. It's this lollipop little and it comes with um, a matte enduring lip color, which is all day stay. And then this beautiful jeweled lip gloss. And then it also comes with our perfect one step fiber mascara and our gel eyeliner. If you guys already have eyeshadows that you love, but you know that you want to pop a red lip um, just because or for the holidays, those little collections, Nicole, are they 38? Is that right? Yeah, they're 38 retail, which is super affordable. So it's just, I mean, for four products that, you know, I think every woman just deserves. So um, I have our duo um, liner that if you guys are eyeliner people, this is our Wizard of Eyes. It is a gorgeous collection, um, beautiful packaging, and it has all of these different eyeliners and them with colors. That's where this guy came from. But I'm gonna come into the black end. You can do black or you can do brown. And I'm gonna show you real quick how I tight line, which is basically um, hitting this part of your um, eyelid and then this part under here. And Nicole, I feel like a lot of times if people don't do underneath, and they do that smoky and then they leave this. I don't know. It just, it doesn't look seamless. And so that's why I always, anytime I'm going to do a smoky eye, I'll just take my index finger and just barely gently pull down. I happen to be in love with these gel eyeliners because they just glide on so smooth. Again, if you're using non Lime Life products, totally no big deal. You just want to make sure that you're um, eyeliner is good and sharpened so that you don't get a rough edge. I yes, only Ms. have the pin. Okay, so you can tight line with the pin. I'll grab mine. The biggest thing is, is that you want to, here, I'll show you, and then you decide if you want to do it. How hard do you, oh goodness. So I've got to pop over here so I can actually see in my mirror. That takes skill. You just go slow. Yeah, Erica or Nicole, you just go slow. Just me. <laughs> and I always just look up if I'm using a liquid and then just kind of let that dry. Both of our eyeliner pens set within 10 seconds and they literally will just stay. Again, I recommend when you're tight lining to use a gel pencil because it is easier, but you use what you have. So then the same with the top, I find it's easier for me to just look down. But if you guys have never done this before, having a mirror, some of us are using these amazing lighted mirrors. They're called Ricky mirrors. They are literally every girl's best friend. So if you don't have one, talk to your beauty guide about it because they're amazing but I am gonna use a, just another little mirror over here. So you're basically taking that pencil and going up underneath the root of your lash. And I bring it all the way into the corner. You can do that with the pen. I prefer a pencil, Emmy. Okay, I'm not gonna attempt that then with this pen. I did my lower with the pen. Okay. Okay, Erica, you don't even pull anything. You just go for it. So you can, if you want, you can kind of do this and then look down towards a mirror. But again, with this gel, it does glide very smooth. Ooh. I'm pushing you guys outside of your comfort zone. I feel like I'm coloring my eyeball. Right? Again, sharpened pencil helps a lot. Let me get my sharpener. 
I need to get some of the pencils. Yes. And the pencils are amazing. I typically use our brown, um, but again, for this smoky eye look, I'm gonna go into the black. The black is what comes in that little lollipop collection. And this is a practice thing, you know, like just let yourself practice. <laughs> I'm actually then I'm gonna gently pull and I'm gonna take this along the root of my lash. We do have our perfect um, eyeliner pen that Emmy is using that will make a super precise line. But because this is kind of a smudgy, smoky look, I'm running it right across the root. If you wanted to darken this, you just make it thicker. And then you can take like a smudge brush and just kind of smudge it into the lashes. Yeah, I don't really like this. I mean, the pin probably has a great purpose, but if you get too thick with that pin, it just, I feel like it's not as forgivable as a pencil would be. You know, I had actually written off all liquid eyeliners. Yeah, me too. Until I started using this one. I actually use our liquid liner um, more than I use any other eyeliner now. I use the liquid yeah. every day. Yeah. I love it. So what it's do you do if you get so thick on one eye, but not the other? So you can take like any kind of real sharp brush. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like a little brush. Oh, I've got one right here. Yeah. And you can, you can either take it through your concealer. I'm trying to see. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you go too thick and you can just kind of clean it up that way. Okay. A lot of times, I think most women, they're just, they even it out, right? You get too thick on one side, so you go back to the other side. Just thicken it up on the other side. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. Okay, friends, so I'm gonna just come back into my metallic as I'm looking. I'm gonna press a little bit more. Again, I do like to keep most of the dark, darkest shades in that outer corner of my eye, like this. And then we'll do some mascara. I use the perfect one-step fiber mascara. I pulled some lashes out. Um, I don't know if anybody wants tips on how to do lashes. Um, I grabbed the wrong mascara. I do like to warm it up. Um, I typically will just put this down in my, against my skin, in my bra. Um, I love this. So again, when we're talking about taking your everyday look into a holiday smoky eye look, um, that is one of the biggest pros of this mascara is that I had a coat on and you can go back in and you can do a second coat without it getting all clumpy. I like to shimmy along the root and then just kind of pull it up. Anytime I add um, eyeshadow, after I've already put my mascara on, I always go back and do another coat just so that I don't have any of that product stuck to my lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna swipe across. Chandra's still working. Amber, how are you doing? Meredith, Kim, how is everyone doing? So again, if you are not a beauty guide with Lime Life by Alcone, first of all, I'd be like, why not? <laughs> I've done this for three years and you guys, I absolutely love it. Um, I love being able to use clean products. The products last forever. Um, anybody who loves good eyeshadows, a lot of times I'll hear people talk about MAC. Um, you know, you've got Urban Decay, you've got the, you know, James Charles colors. 
these are all 50% pigmented. So um, let your beauty guide help you pick a palette that you can use. You know, like these colors are beautiful for just every day, a, a simple look. Um, and then you can add in, like you can custom build these. So a six wall palette is $74. There's not gonna be colors in there that you don't use, right? Because it's custom tailored to you. We also offer four wall palettes. Um, Nicole, will you show your four wall palette? Those are only 52. And again, they last forever. Um, a lot of my girlfriends will use their powder product in their eyebrows. One of Amy's good friends and my good friends, this is her new brow go-to, that 32 a corkable. And she simply applies that with her, you know, this is the number 14 brow tamer. Um, I'm going to just show you real quick. We didn't use this blush hour, or I didn't, um, but I'm going to just grab a little small brush that's on the other side of the table. And I'm going to pop into that color to add just a little pinkness to my cheeks. Again, that's blush hour. It's so pretty. It's number 37. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my red lip on. Wiping off any excess here. Um, I'm going to change it up a little bit, though. And I'm going to use um, this number seven. We're going to try it. Again, this is a gorgeous classic red, but I like this color that I've got on my nails. It's a little berry-ish. So I'm going to actually see what color this ends up being. So this is number seven and our Enduring Liner. These are super creamy. If you love just that classic red, we do have um, a classic red lip liner that you could partner with your cherry pie. I will tell you a lot of my clients, they don't even do a lip liner under the Enduring just because the stay power is amazing. But so I've got this on and I'm gonna take my concealer brush, which is number nine. And I wanna take, it's very creamy. I mean, I love these lip liners. I actually did this yesterday with this color. So I'm just taking a clean concealer brush and I'm just blending that number seven, which is, Nicole, what's that color? Is it Cabernet? It is um, Cabernet. Cabernet. So it's just super pretty. And I did this yesterday with my all-time favorite Humble Lip Gloss, which I don't, oh, I do have. And that was it. Um, but again, we're going bold here with this What look. did you do with your concealer? So I just took the concealer brush. Okay. Kind of, this is more like, kind of like a paintbrush looking brush. Okay. That makes sense. And yep. so I'm just taking it. You could also use your finger. But again, I want to pull a little bit more burgundy into this red. So I'm going to go into our cherry pie. My biggest tip on this is there a lot of product comes out. So I like to scrape that off. And then it's got a nice little angled applicator. You could also do a gorgeous, um, more nude lip. Um, if you are liking the idea of trying some of these products, again, this is part of our holiday collection there with the eyeliner. We have a really pretty macaroon, which is a mauve. And we also have a dark nude shade called Moon Pie. Well, okay. right. Ooh, Emmy, that's pretty. What colors on your lips? Well, it's not lime life. That's okay. Is it's, it like wine? Urban Decay. It's Hex by Urban that's Decay. Pretty. Thank you. Yeah. 
So I love just being able to play with that. I think that that's what women forget when we're doing makeup is that we're just playing. It's not a nose job. You know, we can wipe it off if we don't <laughs> like it. Um, another thing that I will tell you sometimes if you're not used to using a red, it actually helps to pull some of the same color kind of in a monochromatic way into the other parts of your face. So if you have, um, if you didn't apply blush or anything and you wanna just see, what do I think about having um, some of this pop of color on my cheeks too? You can take your applicator straight to your hand and I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of swirl it around. Gonna pop it to the apples of my cheek. And then I'm just gonna blend that. You can do this with any of our enduring lip colors. Um, you can actually also use them for your eyes. The tool that we apply our foundation with is this amazing blenderful. So if you feel like, ooh, that got a little rosy, all you have to do is just tap your blenderful that had some of your foundation over it. But for me, because I love a nude lip, um, sometimes all I see is the red lip and I don't like that. So I think by adding a little bit of that um, same tone to my cheeks, it just kind of helps bring the look together. So again, we're gonna finish this guy out. I love our metallic, bron metallic shimmer bronzer. This is the one that came in my beauty case when I first started. And I'm gonna sweep that across my hairline. And then down around, it almost ends up being a number three. We're not doing a lot of contouring, but again, when we're getting ready for the holidays, you can't ever have too much shimmer, right? Right. Again, it's like around your jawline and then back towards your hairline. And when you're out and about, especially at night, um, just that really pretty light shimmer, not sparkle, is super pretty. So again, I'm working out of this custom palette um, and I've got number one bronzer, number... Um, did I think I, this is number six glowing. I think I said that wrong earlier. Um, and then our perfect setting powder. I'm gonna take that same brush that I just used my bronzer in. I'm gonna get the glowing and I'm gonna just take it down a little bit on my, the bridge of my nose, across the tip, right in the middle of my forehead. And then up right underneath. Oh, girls, I wanted to sh tell you too, Nicole, I think you were kind of, we were kind of alluding to this. In the event that you feel like you kind of went crazy, you know, maybe you got your eyeshadow out here That's or me. maybe it's okay. So this is why I love, again, just, I love good tools. So if you had applied your concealer with this foundation brush, or maybe you haven't because this one's clean, so I'm gonna go into my found my concealer just a, a bit. And you can take this guy and you're gonna draw like an imaginary line. And all you do is you clean that guy up. So you see how it kind of cuts it up? Does that make sense? Yes. This is another little trick that my clients are like, oh my gosh, that just made my life so much easier. Yes, it's so nice. I mean, it just like, like you're a professional, you know, you're like, I am a professional cleaner upper. Cleaner upper. Does that help Emmy? Yes. Yeah. So obviously if you do that and then if you wanted that um, number six glowing to really pop, you can just kind of place it right in that same area. Erica, are you using number three brush with that? Yes. And this is, I mean, honestly, if, if you don't have good tools or maybe you know that it's time to upgrade some of your makeup tools. 
That's my issue. Yeah. My, I didn't buy all of the Lime Life brushes at first. Yeah, um, what's your go-tos? My go-tos are number three. This is the angled brush. And you can literally, you can contour with it. You can apply your, br your blush, your highlight. And then number seven, eyeshadow brush. I now have multiple of both of these in my makeup case because they just, it just makes the job so much easier. So three um, and seven? Three and seven are must haves. Um, obviously, you know, today we used this number nine in gold brush, which is great. Um, I like the number 19, which is small. It's really good to kind of um, like with translucent powder, you can kind of get into the T-zone. Amber Peck said, I'm watching and learning. I'm going to try it later and watch again. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Emmy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the last thing I want to show you guys, um, if you, nobody likes to have to touch up their red lip or any dark lip. Um, so I did one layer of the cherry pie and I'm going to take some of my translucent powder and I'm going to just lightly dust it around the edges. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my glowing, which is that beautiful shimmer. You could also use if you loved the, the sweet dreams, which is what we just popped up here. It's a great highlighter. You can also use this color and I'm going to just add a little dimension to my lips. I'm going to open and I'm going to pop that shimmer. You see how it just makes your lips almost look bigger? I'm doing something wrong. You what? I said I'm doing something wrong. My lips aren't getting any bigger. You are so funny. It's just practice. It's just practice. But it just gives a little dimension to the lip. If I know I'm going to a holiday party, I probably would not pop the gloss over this just so that it would stay. Um, I do love wearing this over the cherry pie if I've got a really light eye. You know what I mean? Okay, Nicole, your eyes are looking good, girl. Thanks. What do you think? I like the eyes. This yeah, is a lot of lip. Really, this looks like, really good, Nicole. So yeah. thank you. I don't, I don't normally do a, a lip and an eye. I normally do one or the other. And so. Yes. And I am much the same way. I think it looks beautiful. And for me, I have like, obviously probably wouldn't wear a purple top. You know what I mean? So I'm <laughs> really like, if I'm going to do a bold look, like I, I have got to at least be dressed what I'm seeing, you know, like I, I need still black need something. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Chandra, let me, can you bring your Ricky over? Cause I know you do good makeup. Uh, it's hard. It's, it keeps wanting to like adjust a light. I have a surface. So like you can kind of see a little bit more light, maybe. Okay. Just trying so to I, I would love if you guys would just all take a selfie with your fabulous look and let us know what colors you used. And then you can post it on my page or wherever, just so we can see everybody's finished look. So, um, store i see there's still some people on oh there's my girlfriend cindy she didn't have her camera on either um let's see what i mean what do you guys think do we all we all got some good smoky eyes going on right so again just remember you can always do a smoky eye with any colors the biggest thing is making sure that you bring you know you're bringing the the depth or the darkness kind of over towards the center. Ah, thank you, Cindy. And then sweeping some of your darkness under here. Um, and again, my, my biggest thing when I do a smoky eye is I always like to do that tight line. So anyway, if you guys don't have any other questions, then <clears throat> we can go. Does anybody have questions? No? No. no, thank you, though. I wouldn't have tried this without your instructions. Yeah, I've not wore this much makeup since Zoe's wedding, so. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I typically don't wear any makeup every day, so. Yeah. yeah. So now you might, you might just have to get in, make an excuse to like go order takeout. Oh well, yeah. I'm, yeah. Cause I'm quarantined. So this was yeah. a nice little pick me up. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And that's exactly why we started Beauty on the Budget. So if there's ever anything that you as a beauty guide or your clients want to see, just know that we have a team of amazing makeup artists and a team of amazing just women that love to share what they've learned through their time with Lime Life by Alcone. If you're watching this as a guest and you're like, oh my gosh, those girls are so fun. I would love to be a part of that community. Make sure that you reach out to your beauty guide Again, I've been here for three years. I started with our big case. It was $169. We had almost $400 worth of amazing products, some of which I still have. I mean, I'm like, are these products ever going to run out? We also have a $99 option, which is one of my favorites. It's like my hand-picked top. I mean, they're the products I use every single day. Um, then make sure, again, that you ask questions. Let your beauty guide know that that you would like more information. Um, if you're watching this from a client perspective and you're like, I love my beauty guide, make sure that you tell your friends about it, whatever products, and that they can only get those products from us. And again, if you're interested in like customizing your perfect smoky eye palette that can also be used just daily, um, be sure and let your beauty guide know. And all of our holiday products will be completely launched, um, I believe, by next week, which is super exciting. So um, I appreciate you guys all watching. We will, again, um, if you've got girlfriends now that you've hopped on and you're like, oh my gosh, I totally want to share this video, um, we'll have the recording posted um, soon. So I'm so glad that you guys all joined. Again, my name is Erica Journal, pro makeup artist and beauty guide with Lime Life by Alcone. Mwah to all of you who came and played, you all look beautiful. And yes, Stormy, we'll make sure that you get tagged. Amber, I can't wait to see your after look. And yes, if you guys wanna tag me on Instagram or Facebook with your smoky eyes, I'd love it. So anyway, happy Saturday, friends. Until next time. Thank you. Happy Saturday. Thank you.